Hello, and in this video, we're going to be putting a hex cam and a snare cam onto this rod and setting up so it can rotate all the way around with those two items put on. Uh, we will have to do a little editing to each one of those cams, uh, but it shouldn't be too difficult for us to get, get one. Uh, so in order to do this, we will have to take one of our other cams off. In this case, I'm just going to take my pair cam off. Uh, it's the nearest one, and that's why I'm picking that one. So if I look, I just select that cam and hit delete, and it's going to disappear. Uh, then I'm going to go over to my hex cam. We'll do the hex cam first. And in order for it to uh, have a tangent constraint, we can't have these uh, straight edges on the on the sides here. So we have to do a fillet on each one of those edges. It doesn't have to be a big fillet. It can be really, really small. Uh, but we need the fillet just so it can follow that tangent constraint. So all I'm going to do is hit my fillet. I'm going to set the value as 0 0.01. It's extremely small. You're barely able to notice it. And then we're just going to click on each one of those uh, six edges. So I'm going to get those top three. Uh, then I'm going to just kind of work my way around. So I'm just going to go on the right side, select this bottom one, and then just keep rotating, rotating around until I have them all selected. So I have one here and one there. And if I go back to my front, I should see that they're all selected. You can see all six of them selected. Uh, so then we just do our green check. And now it's got rounded edges. It's able to foul. You can't really notice it unless you're looking closely. If we're looking at the back, it still looks uh, squared off. But it is rounded, and it's going to work for our constraint. Uh, so now we'll go back to our box. And all I'm going to do is inch it and put my hex cam down. So we'll put our hex cam in, select the green check, and then we have to do the same constraints we did before. So I do a fasten mate, click on that hole, and then go to the rod and click on the rod. Again, we have to offset it, and since I took away my paired cam, that was a 2 inch one. So I have to set that as 2. Uh, in this case, it went outward, so I have to make it a negative 2. And we can check, and if we go to the front view, we can make sure it's lined up and it is lined up correctly. So we hit our green check. We got it in the right spot. I'm going to move this right up while I'm on this view just so it's easier to click on in, on our next step. Uh, so then, now we have it in place. Uh, we probably want a better view just so we can see what's going on with it. And that's not the view we want, uh, but this view will work. And now we need to do tangent constraint just like we did on our previous schemes. So I'm just going to select this tangent constraint up here in the middle top. I'm going to zoom in just to make it easier to see. So I'm going to zoom the window and just zoom in on that. If you have a roller mouse, you can just roll it in. Uh, then we click on the bottom of our rod. And any of the faces, any of those upper faces we want to select to finish this off. If we do a bottom one, sometimes it doesn't uh, constrain exactly how we want it to. Uh, I'm actually going to click in a different spot. Hopefully I can get better constraint on it. And I'll zoom in again, zoom the window, and we want to just get one of these top faces. And you can see it sells it going all the way around. So I hit my green check, and now I can zoom out and I can rotate this all the way around. It should rotate all the way around here. Uh, in this case, it's not. I got the wrong edge on my tangent. I didn't get the edge. I got the face, it looks like. So I need to edit. Yes, I got the face of the rod. I need to change that into the edge of that rod. So if I can get back to a good view on that, I need that edge, not the face. So now it says edge of rod. So now I can constrain it. It takes away my air messages, and I should be able to animate it. So I got to revolute, animate, and I can spin it. I'm going to spin it a couple of times. I'll put it at 720 just so I can do two full rotations. And then we hit play. And it rotates through. Uh, so that works for our hex cam. Uh, now we'll work on our snare cam. The snare cam is just a little more complicated, uh, but we'll work through that one too. So I'll delete my hex cam off of here. Uh, again, just right click, delete. And now we'll do the snare cam. So the snare cam, it's got edges we need to round off. So uh, I'll do the easy one first, and then we'll do the a little more difficult one at the end. So first I'm going to do fill it. You can see it's got these little edges here. So I'm going to select that one as one of them. I'm going to change my my value to 0.01 again. 
and I'm going to select this edge. Then I'm going to come down on the bottom and select the bottom edge. And then I'm going to come around on the left hand side and select this edge. And then I hit my green check and that fixes three of my four spots or five spots in this case that needs fix. Uh, then I have these two edges here and here and since we've got this straight line down we need that to be a smooth curve. Uh, it doesn't quite give the constraint we want it to but it does function very smoothly on on C. So to do that again I'm going to do a fillet. I'm going to select those two edges so I'm going to change my view just so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to select this top edge then I'm going to come up here on the top and select this bottom edge. And for these I want it to be a value that's related to my variable, my constraint here, of my configuration of D. So I'm going to do 1 slash 8 times shift 8 D. And that gives us our value. And that way as we get bigger or smaller it matches up to this object. And then we hit our green check and it should uh, constrain out for us. In this case it's showing an error message on fillet 2. Uh, we'll have to look and see what's going on there. So we have uh, constraints. I'm going to do each one separate just to make sure it pops up. First one we do, again we change the value to 1 slash 8 times D and enter that value in. Then we do the same thing, a fillet on the bottom and we make that 1 slash 8 times D and hit our green check. Now they all work and they give us this smooth transition shape. It's not quite the shape we had before, uh, but similar enough it should work out for us in this option. Uh, once you have that set, then we want to go over and insert this into our box. So again, I had to do these two uh, fillets separate because one goes out, one goes in. Uh, so that's why we had that A message there. So if you run into that, that was the issue we ran into. Uh, now we'll go back to our box, and we'll insert, and then we'll find our cam. So in this case, it's our snare cam. So I find my snare cam, and I place that on there. Then we hit our green check, and again, just like we did with our last cam, we have to fasten mate, select the hole, and select our rod, if we can get on the rod. Maybe we'll select the rod. Now we got the rod, and again, it's going to be an offset in the Z. When you go 2, it's going to go the wrong direction, so we want it as negative 2. That lines it up. We can double check, make sure it's lined up, and it is, and then select our green check. Uh, now, again, I'm going to pull my rod up above it just so it's easy to do my tangent mate. So I don't want it outside the box, but I want it above it somewhere. So I got it above. And now we can select my tangent mate. So I'm going to do tangent mate. Select the bottom. Make sure it says edge when I do that. And then I'm going to zoom in and get that rod. The top of that shape. That cam there. Uh, so I'm going to zoom the window just so it, I can make sure I get that face there. When I do that, it should show all the way around. And it does. So we can hit our green check. Uh, finally, we can animate and sew it going through that rotation. So, revelate, animate. Uh, with the snare cam, you want to make sure it's going the right way. So, if it goes the wrong way, we can just change this to a negative. Again, I want it to go twice, so I'm going to do 720. So, I start it, and it animates, and you can see it goes, and it's sitting there, and then it pops it up, and it drops back down. And it keeps rotating around, and it finishes our rotation there. Uh, so hopefully this helps you. Uh, we had a couple mistakes there, but we got through them. Uh, configure and set up your hex cam and your snare cam onto uh, your Atondo box. Uh, if you have issues, make sure you're asking questions, getting help. Uh, but hopefully this gets you set up on all your cams, able to rotate around on your Atondo. Uh, good luck.